Who am I? Why am I here? What am I doing? Is this it? Is this, is, this is it? You're putting your attention on an invisible essence that is the very giver of your life. And not many people spend a lot of time thinking about it that way because they're under the unconscious program that God is outside of them. The soul, it's like our compass. It moves closer and matches your effort. That's just how it is. It's self-reflexive, it's self-aware. Because it knows us, it's been observing us from the time we left source. The hologram of the soul is about the mystery of the self. And when that soul begins to awaken and it begins to guide us, it's a feeling. Fear is not the opposite of love, it is the separation from it. Pain and suffering and disease is not the opposite of love, it is the separation from it. Anger and hostility is not the opposite of love, it is the separation from love. We are here to awaken the soul this week. That soul is the spiritual brain that never forgets. And to awaken the soul is to remember where we came from, all of us as one individual souls, that there is one God, but in that one God there are many, and we are in density now. What I want to achieve in this week, I want to surrender fully to the experience and just feel all the love of everybody. I want to change my life. To have um, a higher sense of community and uh, full body healing. Living to be a hundred, at least, and having this be the most productive period of my life. As close as I get to my to the best version of myself. Developing my healing ability that I can help other people to heal. When you begin to awaken the soul, something else begins to happen to you. You crave the unknown, you crave the adventure, you crave possibility. And when that soul begins to awaken and it begins to guide us, it's a feeling. And it's like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. And that's the soul awakening in us. If you haven't dreamed a new future, you would walk right past that future and never see it because your brain isn't wired to perceive it. That's how powerful we are. And you are going to fall in love with a new future this week. In order for us to do that, we have to get beyond our past. We have to get beyond that story that we tell about ourselves. here for uh, experience something uh, new and to disconnect from my old life. Yes. To let go of the things I'm holding on to. I want to learn how to do the meditation correctly so that I can go into deep states. I'm really looking forward to meditate with other people, to be in this room for of oneness. To love me. I'm getting new strengths to be a new person. This event that in reality, on Earth, because the more we are happy, the more Mother Earth is happy, and the whole universe is happy. The feeling we, we have here to bring it into everyday life. If you ask me today my definition of surrender or my experience of surrender. I will tell you it's an ongoing process. I'm here to uh, surrender. Intent is uh, just to let go, completely let go and just feel, feel some energy, feel some love. I'm here to surrender. To uh, surrender completely. 
what I decided that my challenge would be was to, to let go of that person. I've always been a very, 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 very scary young boy. I grew up with that message that men don't cry, men are not afraid. And I, I, I didn't want to be afraid. I, I wanted to show you that I was brave, that I was not afraid, but I was. <laughs> I'm brave nowadays, I know that I'm brave and that I, I have a lot of courage. It was so liberating to, I almost feel like, like, like going again. It was, it was so liberating to, to, to fall on, on your arms. Did you cross those hands over you? And you fall on, you fall back, you surrender, you let go, you trust. That's exactly what I want you to do in the void. I want you to become more of it and less of you. That, that blackness is that unified field that we think we're separate from. Take a breath and let go. And really look to see what surrender feels like when you fully, fully let go. You know that person? will surrender into the blackness the same exact way. They'll remember what it feels like. It was amazing. It was liberating. You just go back to your real nature. Very good. Very liberating. It was very scary. <laughs> yeah. But I did it. I had to open my heart and yes, then to surrender. This was amazing. I was very happy to do it. It's the liberation. Freedom. Freedom. I can do anything that I want. I feel really unlimited. I feel so powerful, so blessed, so loved. That's amazing. It's how you go across the journey the journey you're taking with awareness. And if you're at the bottom and you're afraid, why not mentally rehearse what you're gonna do step by step? I'm gonna stay present every step. I'm going to make sure that I breathe. I'm gonna make sure I stay present. I feel my heart. When I feel it racing, I'm gonna slow it down. I'll take a moment, I'll settle it down, I'll move again. You're, you're installing the circuitry now. We want you to be able to have a formula to apply to your life that you should be able to when you're in that moment, that defining moment where every reason in the world says you should be upset. But you're not natural, you're not normal, you're executing supernatural. You're applying a formula. That's where this work is going if we can do it with our eyes closed. The challenge activity is about you doing it with your eyes open and doing it in a situation where it matters the most. Fear is, has haunted me my whole life in everything that I've ever done. I have a walking issue um, on my right leg, which is um, hence why I carry sometimes, sometimes carry the stick. My body starts to betray me. That was the feeling. Exhilarating. My heart pounded. I was really pleased that I just got to the top of the ladder. And I literally thought I was going to piss myself in front of everybody. <laughs> Watching all of you stand on the edge there, 
Oh, you have the moment where you stand up for yourself. Now, that's a moment where no one's helping you. You're standing up for you. Let's see how fast you can self-regulate. And when you overcome that edge and you go a little further and you stand up for yourself and you start standing up for yourself in your life and you see the evidence of what it produces, you're different in your life and so is your life. We'll make the whole world hear us. So throw your hands up high. We're about to show you why they fear us. Get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to get crazy. It's gonna be loud. This is our house. We do what we wanna. We'll blow the roof up. Everybody's coming. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. Get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to get crazy. It's gonna be loud. This is our house. We do what we wanna. We'll blow the roof up. Everybody's coming. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to get. That's where I felt that my healing was completed on the day where I woke. My head is still trying to put me in that point or, oh, check your heart rate. How, how is it doing? Is everything okay? But I just um, ignore it. And I feel that I'm completely, completely free now and healed. Walk as if it already happened. Walk as if you are already it. We don't pray in this work to have our prayers answered. We finish as if our prayers are already answered. Explain the unexplained. I want to walk as a community of sentient beings, walking as our future selves and embodying that energy. And when you're out there with a the community, it's going to move you. You are going to witness the most beautiful things. And why not greet the sun, start the day as our future self? Watch, I stood next to beautiful men today. I watched them take a chance and open their hearts. Just, this feels so much better than the addiction of pain and suffering and fear and competition. Becoming that person he's always wanted to become when he's not in the program of being a male. I want you to walk as if you were unlimited. 
I want you to walk as if all your needs are met. I want you to walk as if life is a mystery and you have synchronicities every day and you are overjoyed about it. What person did you leave at the beginning of that walking meditation? And what person are you becoming? And why not, before you present yourself to the 3D world, open your heart to life? You make the effort then to walk as it, to become it. You're not just pretending to be it now, you're becoming it. I have really tried so hard to find how to have an elevated emotion. And now, after today, I can't stop. <laughs>